I'm JP Mestanza. It's December 14th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. Cheaper domestic flights and direct international flights to Phuket, that's what Phuket Governor Narong Moncheo said is needed to buoy Phuket's tourism industry in a meeting of major stakeholders in Bangkok over this past weekend. The Bangkok Post reports that the meeting took place at Thai Airways International's head office in the capital, with Phuket's top officials, along with the Tourism Authority of Thailand, the heads of the Department of Consular Affairs, Thai and Thai Small Airways, in which the governor said a balance must be struck between quarantine restrictions and allowing the island's economy to chug along, since it's heavily tourism-based and has been relying on domestic tourism since the pandemic began. Last month alone, Phuket welcomed some 200,000 visitors, according to statistics presented by the governor, saying it could have been more if flights to the island from elsewhere in Thailand weren't so expensive, especially on the weekends. He's told airlines to lower their prices and add more flights to spur domestic travel to the island, but international visitors are still needed to make sure that the industry thrives once again. Currently, there are about 70 flights per day to Phuket, down from 300 flights pre-COVID. For more, visit thephuketnews.com. A convention of representatives from over 2,300 municipalities all over Thailand took place here in Phuket just before the weekend with Deputy Interior Minister calling for all of them to ramp up efforts to help reduce the number of road accidents in their areas. According to the Thai Road Accidents Data Center for Road Safety Culture, who keeps track of a lot of these accidents, they say that Thailand has seen about 14,400 deaths on the roads in all of 2020. Here in Phuket, they say that there's been at least 68 deaths on the island roads in 2020. Thailand is consistently ranked among the top 10 most dangerous places in the world for road safety. Friday's third National Municipal League of Thailand National Convention saw some of the top officials who handle local administrations, including Phuket City Mayor Somjai Suwasupana, who is also currently the president of the Municipal League of Thailand. Deputy Interior Minister Nippon Bunyamani praised local municipalities for their efforts battling a slew of issues affecting people's lives, especially regarding COVID-19. But, they, but he also called on all local administrations to do more to help reduce road accidents in their areas. Meanwhile, over the weekend, there were road accidents that claimed the life of at least one person, and at last report, another person is still recovering at Vashida Phuket Hospital. First, a 27-year-old Thai woman died after a motorbike struck a, a power pole near the entrance to an estate on Chafa East Road in Wichit in the early hours of Saturday morning. Rescue workers found her body found the body of Luxkana Tatun beside the power pole in front of a 7-Eleven near the entrance of the housing estate, and police say no helmet was found at the scene. An investigation is underway on that crash. Meanwhile, at about the same time, about 3 a.m. on Saturday morning, on Katu's Witches Songkwam Road, an unidentified foreign man was involved in a motorbike crash in which rescue workers found his unconscious body on the road, about 700 meters from the macro store there, he was rushed to Vashira Phuket Hospital as well. A last report, he was still being treated at the hospital. Police are still investigating. A nine-year prison sentence for the former Talang police chief has been reduced after pleading guilty to illegally releasing three foreigners at Talang police station before they were to be handed over to immigration for deportation. Tamanun Paiju, who was the Lang police chief in Phuket back in 2010, he was initially sentenced in 2019 to nine years in prison for wrongful exercise of duties. But after confessing to the charges, it was reduced by half and then later reduced further earlier this year to three years total on appeal. Colonel Tamanun was previously well known as Kai Muk Buster after he arrested notorious kidnapper Cherm Kai Muk Sengyat a decade ago, according to reports. Pukadex, you'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Pukadex. After an online complaint went viral on social media, Phuket officials say they're going to put overpriced taxis on notice. 
A woman posted on social media on December 7th saying she was charged 200 baht per kilometer, saying, quote, I thought I was in a taxi in a foreign country. The viral post reached Phuket Governor Narong Uncheo and other officials, and while they're investigating her claim, even tracking down the taxi driver who charged her that amount, a Phuket Land Transport Chief, Banya Kanta, is advising travelers to use the mobile app Hello Phuket, which was launched in August with 300 taxi drivers. According to reports, it was created to standardize the fares in Phuket as local taxi operators had allegedly agreed to give 20% discounts to travelers during the COVID-19 pandemic. The exorbitant fares of Phuket taxis are no secret, as just last year, a case involving an Aussie tourist filing a complaint with Karon police made headlines when he was charged by a van driver 3,000 baht to go from the Phuket airport to a hotel about 50 kilometers away, according to reports. The official rate sets the taxi fare at 50 baht for the first two kilometers, 12 baht for the second to the 15th kilometer, and 10 baht for the 15th kilometer and beyond. The fare also increases by one baht per minute when taxis move at speeds less than six kilometers an hour. Another 50 baht is charged for booking taxis via a call center, and 100 baht for passengers picking up taxis at a designated area at the Phuket International Airport. The maximum fares for charter taxis in Phuket were set by the government in 2013, and a list of those are in the link in the description. You can also check out this week's opinion article on thepuketnews.com for more on this issue. Link for that is in the description as well. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. You have until December 16th to donate a new unwrapped toy for kids as the Toys for Joy Thailand donation campaign is still going with drop boxes in the locations all across Phuket. You can take part in the drive until December 16th and donate an unwrapped toy for kids aged between 3 to 12 years old at any of the Toys for Joy collection boxes all across Phuket. The list is on your screen. It's where many of these collection boxes can be found and you have until December 16th to donate an unwrapped gift which will be handed out to the less fortunate children just a few days later. Learn more about this annual toy drive at the Toys for Joy Thailand page on Facebook. 28 new COVID-19 cases confirmed in Thailand today, including six Thais returning from the Myanmar border town of Tachilek, just over the Chiang Rai border. They've been in the news a lot in recent weeks after about a dozen or so Thai women who worked at a hotel brothel in that town snuck through a natural pass back over to Thailand, bypassing quarantine measures in late November. Officials say that over 260 Thais who worked in that border town have now gone through the checkpoint and have been quarantined. The new total for Thailand is 4,237 cases, including cases over the weekend. 93% of cases have recovered. It's been 38 days since Thailand's last COVID-19 related death. Thank you for joining us today on Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow. We'll be back then. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.